Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm Atharv and I just finished my second semester of masters, of course, in CS. Uh, and I want to take some time to talk about applying to summer internships as an international student here in US and how I was able to get four of them this summer, summer of 2025, so yeah, pretty recent. Uh, if you are wondering the companies I got were, uh, the first one was Centric as a data analyst intern. The second one was Edge Insights as an AI intern, which is also the company I'm working at right now. The third one was Bunchful Enterprises, uh, also in the Gen AI space. Uh, and the fourth one was Optium, I guess, as a machine learning intern. So the reason I'm making this video is, uh, I got a lot of questions on LinkedIn and Instagram uh, regarding how I got an internship how is the market or any advice on getting an internship here in US and all of that after after my post on LinkedIn. So if you have any questions or anything you uh, want to share with me, you can follow me on Instagram or LinkedIn uh, and DM me there. I will be more than happy to help you. The link is in the description down below. So yeah. So. Uh, before starting, I want to talk about my background a little bit. Uh, I don't go to any Ivy League universities like Stanford, MIT or Harvard, not even in the top 20 universities. I go to Illinois Institute of Technology, Chicago, uh, which is a rising school. Uh, firstly, I want to talk about the market. Uh, the market is not really good. I will be pretty clear with you. Uh, I won't give you false hopes and all. The market is not really good right now for IT job at least. Uh, you'll face rejections, uh, your, answer, your questions will go unanswered and all, but it's hard, but it's not impossible to get a job. Like other creators are talking about how impossible it is to get a job in US right now in 2025. I would say it's not that impossible. Uh, you can surely get a job if you follow correct steps uh, on how to get one. So. Uh, I'll be pretty clear with you, I came here in August 2024, started applying seriously around October, November 2024. At first I thought uh, I had a pretty decent profile, which I don't to be very honest. Uh, so after this overconfidence, or with this overconfidence, I was brought down to the ground with the rejections I faced. Like I faced many rejections. So here are the top four things to keep in mind while applying in order to secure an internship in 2025 or later. First, make a good resume. Uh, this was the first mistake I did. Uh, I made a crappy resume. I applied with it, got rejections every single time. I would say I would I would say I got rejections for like 150 plus times with this crappy resume. So make a good resume. Second, coding practice. If you want to get into a development role, uh, practice lead code, uh, HackerRank is a good beginner's choice uh, or even you can start with any other competitive coding website like Geeks for Geeks, Coding Ninjas, anything. Just st get started with it, get that problem solving mindset in you. Third, uh, referrals. This is optional but they are really helpful. Fourth, cold message and emailing. Uh, I'll get back to this in the coming part of the video on how to do it. But yeah, this is important right now. Networking is something you should be doing. So here's what worked for me. Not necessarily this will work for you, but at least it will get you started in some correct direction. Okay, over time you will find what's working for you, what's working not for you. But until then, stick to this uh, and for sure you will get to the point where you will find out what's working for you. So. I built a tracker uh, on Google Sheet. This was the first thing I did when I started applying seriously. Uh, I created my own CRM system. For every single role I applied to, I tracked company name, uh, role, the link, the status, and the referral, if I had any. This did two things. Uh, first, kept me organized and consistent while applying. Second, helped me learn patterns like what kinds of role is getting responses and which are not. Next, one of my biggest shifts was customizing almost every resume while applying. I stopped sending the same resume everywhere. So for example, if the job mentioned LLM, I brought that up in the center. Uh, doing this helped me get responses, or a lot of responses and not just rejections. Next, the most important thing is networking. 
uh, I know people hate networking even even I hated networking but if you want to have some spe- learn some speaking skills you have to network with people send messages on LinkedIn show genuine request uh, or interest in their work in fact one of my summary offers came from a startup I just messaged an employee who was the hiring manager for a job role uh, she referred me directly to an interview so that small bold message led to an actual interview so it's really really important uh, next is equally important as networking dealing with stress and self doubt uh, there will be weeks when where i didn't hear heard back from anyone uh, message went unanswered no replies to the email uh, the pressure was too much for me i started questioning myself uh, am i good enough but then i remind myself that it it's going to take just one yes uh, and everything is going to turn uh, and by by march i started getting few callbacks then came a few offers uh, and by mid april i had multiple offers for internships to choose from uh, including one which i am working at right now so my final advice if you are still applying would be get organized second build real stuff uh, like projects that you can showcase show your uh, work publicly like posting on linkedin github repository maintaining a good re- github repository is really important uh, writing honest messages to people and most important don't give up uh, thinking it's just gonna just think it's just gonna take a yes for you to get a job so yeah and yeah that's for the video i guess it's been a long uh, one since it it had lo- i had lot to talk in uh, but if it has helped you or have given you some hope leave a like and please subscribe to the channel for more uh, i see many of you don't subscribe it really helps me keep going and make such videos regularly so yeah please subscribe to the channel also if also comment if you have any questions i'll sh- i'm more than happy to help you with any kind of international student questions so yeah keep exploring